Hi, this is Heidi, and I'm here with Anna of Anna Leclerc of Yarn Carnival, and we're here today to talk about some of her inspirations behind dyeing. Hi, Anna. Hello. So, first of all, how did, let, let me know how did you get started dyeing? Well, it was sort of accidental. I mean, I have been dyeing fabric and, and yarn for, for production theater because I was a costumer for 15 years. And, I mean, I sort of threw dyed my own clothing all the time anyway, but I, I had dreams and I couldn't find the colors that were my dreams, which were the things I wanted to knit. I couldn't find the colors that my wicked imagination came up with, so I made them. And I started knitting with them in the group, and the people around me were like, ooh, we like that, make us some. And the yarn shop owners were like, ooh, we like that, make us some. So I kind of accidentally fell into it headlong, head first, and at full speed. And where does your inspiration come from? Um, well, we talked about dreams, the colors, come, the colors I'd like to see come from my dreams and, and you know, wicked, you know, T-Rex wrapped in bath towel eating jello from when I was five kind of dreams. Uh, but there, there's sort of weird psychology to it. I don't really set out to make a color or, or a hob, you know, a poem brought something to mind, or I see I drive off the side of the road because the sun, sunset was amazing, which is why I'm not allowed to drive myself too often. Um, but it's it's really sort of this psych, group psyche thing that happens from the universe, and the universe uses my hands to make a thing. It's like, here, this is the weird thing we put in your brain. Oh, they're pretty things. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite style of dyeing, and if so, why is it your favorite? Well, right now we've been doing um, hand paints that are then over dyed, and sometimes over dyed a second and third time. And I like it because, like, like my dreams, you get sort of this undercurrent of, of a theme going on, and then you get the layers of meaning above it. And, and part of what we're doing is, is really translucent, shimmering layers that really create a refractory layer between each layer of dye so you get true iridescence. So those are my absolute favorite things to dye. I will, I will throw dye. I'm actually really methodical about it. I weigh everything to the milligram. I'm not even joking and, and measure everything out. But in the end, it's just so that I can interpret that feeling or that, that idea I had in, in multiple layers. But yeah, the, the hand-painted bit, bits that are over dyed are absolutely my favorite right now. And this is Anna from Yarn Carnival. You can find her yarns at Hill Country Weavers. And where else can we they find your yarns? In Texas here, we're at uh, Hill Country Weavers in Austin, at Yarn Barn and Yarnivore in San Antonio, Tinsmith Wife in Comfort, Texas, West 7th and Fort Worth, Yarn and Stitches in Dallas. So you can see she's in several places to find. <laughs> Thank you for, for letting me do the interview. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>